We got, is this the same Steve in Austin or another Steve in Austin? Another Steve. Hey, Steve, how are you? Pretty good. Um, listen, uh, I was going to talk about evil. Um, somebody came up to me and asked me, uh, or told me, they said that the worst thing um, that they thought uh, was being called stupid, and they just really hated being called stupid. And I told them that, that was, they were so stupid for giving me that amount of information. And I thought it was funny. They thought it was evil. Uh, uh, maybe it was both. I don't know that them two are mutually exclusive. But uh, I, I see things, I, I just see things as kind of funny because I kind of split the spiritual world from the, um, or the ethereal world from the corporal world. And uh, it just seems funny that, you know, when I read the Bible, it seems to me that the Jews went after some people that worshipped cows and then turned around and started worshipping a day of the week. And it seems like they're doing the same thing. Um, not following you. Uh, well, they, the Jews have the Sabbath. Uh-huh. And when the Jews left uh, Egypt, yeah. it was uh, the land that they took over. The people were uh, worshipping cattle or... Yeah. They don't worship a day of the week. They worship on... They may have, you know, particular important religious... Um, uh, uh, practices that they conduct on a particular day of the week. Well, they call it a holy day. Sure. And they do it in a holy land. Yeah. And I'm saying holy cow, what's the difference? Okay, on some level, um, it doesn't matter to me whether they worship a day or worship on a day. Um, the very idea that they're worshiping something um, is the issue. Yes, that's yeah, true, I, but if you're going to, you know, it's, it's kind of like are you, you doing, uh, are you doing stand-up somewhere in Austin, Steve? Would you care to, um, to uh, let our audience know where they can see you? Uh, no. I'm okay. Because <laughs> you're, you're doing a comedy routine on us, and I'm sorry, we're not, we're not laughing along, because well, no, we know, actually I mean, care I, about these issues. I see, I see a lot of things as funny, but basically it's, it's the split is between, um, for me, it's, it's the, the ethereal is like the surface. And the corporal is like the stuff. And, you know, there's, people throw things at you from cosmological or science and, or any number of ways of trying to describe that, you know, the, the surface, you can gain a lot of information about what's inside from looking at a surface, but the surface is not real. And from that point, you could say, well, God isn't real. But in a way, you would also have to say, you know, you, you, if you took it deeper, you'd have to say, okay, what do we know about this surface, and what do we know about uh, consciousness and who we are? And you would have to look at it and see how we are mapped out, you know, in our brain, which is basically a surface. And we are not that surface. We are the, uh, okay, the okay. pattern inside of it. I'm, I'm going to stop you. Uh because my eyes are glazing over the the whatever language that you're you're using, and I don't mean that to, in, in as as a slight to say that you're not speaking English. I'm saying the specific words that you're choosing are these vague, ill-defined. I have no clue what you're talking about. The surface, the ethereal. Um, why is there a weed behind my head? The, the surface. Oh, I, I got gotcha. you. Good one. Uh, I just don't get what your point is. Okay, well, you know, my, my point is basically that there is, a, um, there is a consciousness and there's emotions, and when I ma try to map them out, people's eyes glaze over because I guess it's just too complicated for them. Yeah, thanks. Thanks okay. for the call. Cool. Okay. That's right. It's too complicated <laughs> for us. It's not... It has that, nothing to do with what was in the pipe. Nothing, <laughs> nothing to do with the content of what he was saying. The, the Being kind of pointless and was it somebody calling it, was it the, the glass pipe fallacy? You, you can only believe that if you're on crack. Yeah. 